For this week's video, I am going to be trapping Brent in the world's loudest room. And the reason I'm doing this is because Brent is really loud. Ah! Wake up. Brent has always been a really loud kid, so it's time he gets what he deserves. I'm hungry. Oh, pop tarts. I had to do something. So I built the world's loudest room. Let's try it out. Like and subscribe! Oh, oh, oh. For Brent. What's going on? You'll see, Brent. What do you mean I'll see? What what is it? You're in for a treat! Oh my gosh, why did you just yell in my ear? Just getting you warmed up. Huh? And turn around. Okay. Wait there. What are you doing? Hey, take your blindfold off. Why'd you lock me in a room? Where am I? Brent, I just trapped you in the world's loudest room. Why? Because you're the world's loudest person. Huh? When is he gonna get loud? All right, just wait, Brent. So the reason that this is the world's loudest room is because everything playing over the speakers is gonna be over 85 decibels. So we actually can't keep Brent inside the room for too long, otherwise it would be unsafe, but he doesn't need to know that. All right, Brent, if you can stay inside this room for at least 20 minutes, I'll give you $1,000. Okay, well that doesn't seem that hard. Oh my God! Why is it so loud? Are you still confident? No, I don't want to do this. It's just going to get worse. All right, Brent, how are your eardrums feeling? Not good. All right, just wait. Huh? You guys, give this video a thumbs up for Brent's eardrums. A guitar? What? You don't even know how to play the guitar. All right, shut the door. Huh? No, 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 don't, don't. You better not. Don't. What are you doing? How was my performance? Not good. Can you leave? I'll be back. No! <laughs> I don't want you back! Brent, 20 minutes and a thousand dollars. Yeah, well let's hurry this up. This megaphone plus the speakers will make the noise in the room go up to 90 decibels. If he thought my guitar playing was bad, wait till he hears my singing. <laughs> what the heck? See about that. All right, Brent, the next thing that's gonna be placed in your room, you're in charge of turning the sound off. Oh, great, there's more. Good luck. What is that? Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm starting to feel really bad. Oh my gosh. 
start disabling them. All of us? Really? The time to turn is off. You guys, I can literally hear them from in here. I cannot imagine how loud it is inside the actual room. Why is it not turning off? <laughs> All right, that's it. I, I gotta get out of here. He's leaving. He's leaving. I'm leaving. Are you serious? What? I Go in there and see how loud it is. Wow, it is really loud. Whoa! Ah! Oh my god! Oh my god! See? It's loud. Okay, Brent, not only did you not make it to the 20 minutes, but you tried to break the world's loudest room. I can't hear a single word you're saying. Hello? Nope, can't hear it. 12 minutes and 15 seconds. You don't get a thousand dollars. Huh? You didn't win. <laughs> huh? You I was in there win. for more than 12 minutes. You were in there for 12 minutes. Where are you going? I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm sorry, Brent. I'm really sorry about this. YouTube channel. Okay, you guys, so today I am here with Andrew and Jeremy. Yo. And for this week's video, we are going to be doing the 24 hour overnight challenge in a car. Oh my God. <laughs> Bro, what? I know. I'm sorry, guys. That's it's it's going to be rough. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up right now if you are excited. And let's get this challenge started. Woo! All right, so we just got in the car and we have all of our snacks, blankets, pillows, all that good stuff ready. Oh my. And uh, let's get comfortable. So we are still sitting up but Brent should be leaving for lunch pretty soon and he has no idea that we are in here so we're gonna prank him with a snake on his seat and you guys not only do we have this snake prank for Brent but Bryce will be following us in his car and he's going to be honking at Brent non-stop and we're gonna get Brent's reaction so oh let's do it honestly the 24 hours just started and I'm dying of Dude. my stroke. Oh, he's coming he's coming close it close it close it close it close it What in the world is this? Someone there? Hello? I was hearing like like squidward sounds. Oh, hey. Someone honked at me as if like there were people in my trunk, no. and there are people in my trunk. No. So, are you getting food right now, Brent? Uh, yes, I'm getting lunch right now. Can you please bring us all something? Yes. Um, no, I, I'll get Andrew please. something, but I won't get you guys anything. What? All right, all right. Brent's back oh, with yeah. our food. Gotcha. Yes. Uh, Ours, but can. because I know you guys are doing a little challenge in my car, I'm going to place this right here. <gasps> no, dude, uh, that is so not okay. Come on, Andrew, get it. You got it. Reach. Oh Woo! Butterfly, butterfly, butterfly. Ew. <laughs> we it's got successful. it. Oh, thank you, Brent. All right, so Brent took the car back home, and we all struggled, but we made our way up to the front seat, and now we're gonna steal the car and go through some drive-throughs. Yeah. Let's do it. Go. All right, you guys, so first drive through we are at Starbucks, and we're gonna play a little game, okay? What game? What is it? Okay, can I please have both of you guys' credit cards? Why? Well, what, what are you, you trying mean? to do? All right, thank what? you, thank what? you. So basically, I'm going to be asking the Starbucks worker to pick one of these three credit cards, and whichever one she picks, uh, they're buying. Oh, okay, I mine. hope it's not mine. Ooh. Hi, pick a card. Middle. Middle? What? <laughs> no. Great. All right, so we got our Starbucks, and let's move on to the next drive-thru. All right, so we all switched seats for this next drive-thru, so Jeremy will be driving. And Jeremy, what is your strategy for this drive-thru? My strategy is that I'm gonna be giving them a deck of cards, and whatever card they pick, so if they pick a three, hey, that's 30 bucks right there. You know $30 tip. $30 tip. Okay, so say they pick eight, it's an $80 tip? $80 tip. All right, I like that. Very generous like that? of you. Woo! Hey, um, wait, could you actually pick a card? Like, like any card? <laughs> and, and what number is it? Five? Oh, Okay. Five, so that means $50, please. $50 tip for you, my friend. <laughs> Thank you. 50 bucks. 
There you go, there's your tip, bro. Thank you so much. Thank you. $50 Thank you. tip. Woo. Woo. All right, so we switched seats again, and now Andrew is driving. So Andrew, what is your strategy for this drive-through? Well, I think I'm just gonna flirt with the drive-through workers. So. What? So fingers crossed that it's a girl. Oh, fingers crossed it's a girl, okay. Unicorn cake pop? Yeah, can I also get uh, your number? Cool, thank you. Andrew! She didn't say no. Andrew! She didn't even say anything when Andrew said she had pretty eyes. Andrew's never been rejected before, so it's really hitting him hard. Thank you. Excuse me, do you maybe want to grab like a drink after your shift or something? Oh, thank you. She said, I'm good. Oh my gosh, Andrew! All right, you guys, so we are back home from the drive-thrus and we just kind of drove around after that because, you know, there's nothing really to do and we kind of need to, like, waste time here. <laughs> what are you guys doing? <laughs> <laughs> um, we have to stay in here for 24 hours. Our time is almost up, but we still have to sleep here. Oh, my gosh. Well, good luck because uh, it's going to be freezing cold. You got to close oh this my door. Oh, my God. Let me know if yeah. you need anything. Oh, uh, thank you, Mama. Bye. It's looking kind of boring. Yeah. Right? yeah. No, I feel like we need to get make some it a little color. more fun. So yeah. we should White. decorate. For sure, decorate. Okay, let's Ooh. decorate. Um, I actually bought a hammock. Right. <laughs> so really? let's see if we can hang that up. No way. Okay, so the sun is setting and you know, it's getting a little later now. So what should we do? One last thing before we hit the hay. Oh, yo, so when I heard Andrew was gonna be a part of this, had to bring me and the homie a movie projector. We're about to go on a date. You already know. Wait, what? Okay, so we uh, set up the projector. We have our little movie about to play on our garage. We'll be watching The Notebook. So yeah, a little, a little movie night before we go to bed. Lexi, what is that? Annoying, I cannot wait for this 24 hours to be up. Me too. I want to get up this <laughs> car. Oh. Thank you, Mom. Napkins. Have fun. You're welcome. All right. See you in the morning. Okay. I don't know if you guys are oh, tired yet. I'm exhausted. Yeah, I think we, it's been a long day. We've been in here all day. <laughs> I think we need a bedtime story or something. From Wait, who? Like From you. Come on. From me? Yeah. You know yeah I right. mean, if if you insist, I mean, I let's guess go. I maybe see what I. Once upon a midnight dreary, while I pondered weak and weary over many a quaint and curious volume of forgotten lore. <sighs> okay, and they're asleep. Good night, guys. <laughs> okay, so we are going to attempt to fall asleep now, and we'll see you guys when we wake up. Peace out, good night guys. Oh God. Good night. No, mwah, mwah, why mwah. did we do this? All right you guys, so I just woke up and I have to pee so badly. I haven't peed all day, and the boys have like peed in cups and stuff, so they definitely don't have to go to the bathroom or anything, but I'm dying and I think I might have to forfeit it like it's that bad. What I'm gonna try to do is go to the bathroom inside my house and come back and finish the 24 hour challenge without Andrew and Jeremy. So let's try this. All right, you guys, so mission accomplished. I just went pee inside my house. Oh my God, did you guys see that? <laughs> this is the worst day, worst night ever, I swear. Did I wake you? What? Well, you're outside. You just lost. No, I'm inside the car. What are you guys talking No, whoa, whoa, whoa. No, get back out no, there. No, I didn't go. I didn't I do anything. I didn't go anywhere. Like, Wait, hold up. Am I dreaming right now? Or did you just lose your own challenge? She did. She lost her own you challenge. You guys, go back to sleep. You guys don't understand the struggle, okay? You guys were peeing in cups all day, and I hadn't gone to the bathroom all day. Like, I just went pee. Okay, let's but, just continue what, the challenge. What, 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 what? We're gonna continue Wait, to pee. You were so loud getting out of the car. No, I wasn't. Was I really? Dude, it woke me up and I woke him up. Like, I was like, yo, I think Lexi got out of that car. Dude, I was being so quiet. Oh my gosh. All right, well, at least now we can get out of the car. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Okay, you guys, so for this week's video, Brent and I will be seeing who our friends like more. Mm -hmm. And they like me more. I don't know about that. Video over. No, that's not 
true. So you guys, we have a lot of tests that we will be putting our friends through that will help us decide who they like more. Who's the favorite sibling? Exactly. If you guys are excited, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up right now. Also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. We are almost at seven million. And let's get this video started. Let's go. All right, we are going to see which sibling Ben likes more. So to do this, Brent and I are going to be fighting upstairs and then going our separate ways. And we're gonna see who Ben comforts first. Are you ready? I'm ready. You better be. Oh my god. <laughs> Are you wearing my sweatshirt? Who cares? Why are you wearing my sweatshirt? Why do you care? This is my sweatshirt. I already told you not to wear it. You're like always bringing up stuff though like this. Like why can't I wear the sweatshirt? Because you literally always wear my sweatshirt. That's well, why. Well you copy everything else that I do so what does it matter that I wear your sweatshirt? I told you just not to wear I'll it. I'll do whatever I want. You're so annoying. You're annoying. Lexi, Brent. Hello? Hello? Anyone want to come out of the room? I'm just going to leave if no one's going to come out. Hello? Lexi. It's done. He's just annoying. What do you mean? He's just annoying. Like, I'm wearing his sweatshirt, but like he copies everything else I do, so like, what does he care? How can you choose Lexi over me? <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah. What's going on? Ben came, knocked on my door, and then he went over to Brent, and I was like, no. And then I came back. I know. Open your door. Uh -huh. Wow, Ben, test? you didn't want to check on me. Not only was this a loyalty test, but this was a test to see who you like better, and clearly, it's me. Uh, okay, I. So. That put me in such an awkward position. I know. Well, Brent, you saw it here first. Yeah. I'm not ben happy. likes me more. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not happy about that. All right, we are now going to test Jeremy, and there is nothing that Jeremy hates more than spiders and sushi. He hates both of those things. <laughs> exactly. So I am going to ask Jeremy to get sushi with me and see if he likes me enough to say yes. And I'm going to ask him to put a spider on his face for my video and see if he likes me enough to say yes. I guess we'll find out. And we'll see. Jeremy, don't let me down. Hey Jeremy, what? can you come down here real quick? Okay, so Jeremy, what's going on? I have one last thing I want to film with you. I'm looking around. What's going on? Okay, so um, let me bring him out. Uh, Jay, do you want to come out? Okay. No, why? <laughs> what? <laughs> so basically, Jeremy, I want to ask you something. Would you be down to put this tarantula on your head? No. <laughs> okay, that was fast. You guys, I'm not kidding when I said Jeremy hates spiders. Take it for the team, right? All right, I'll take it for the okay, team. Okay, all right. Oh, yeah. right here. Bro, come right on. Here. What's going right, on? I'm doing this for you, Brad. Oh, thank you, Jeremy. I appreciate that it. That is really cool. <gasps> He's doing it. Are you kidding me? Bro. Jeremy, you're a true friend. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, my God, whoa. Jay. Jeez. <laughs> Get away from me! You're a true friend. Bro. That was very good. What the heck was that? What? Jeremy? What's going on? <laughs> I see you were willing to put a spider on yourself for Brent. Yes, I did. And you hate spiders, right? Yeah. But you did it for Brent's video. I did do it for Brent's video, yes. Interesting. That's all. What? That's all I need to know. What? Hey, stop. <laughs> Alright, let's see if Jeremy likes me. Okay, we're waiting on Bryce. And then Brent. Starving. Yeah. Did you eat yet? It's sushi. Sushi? Yeah. I am starving. Sure. Yeah. Let's do it. You like sushi? I'll try it. Okay, let's go. Pull up your car. I'm gonna grab my purse. All right. All right. You guys. Not only does Jeremy like me, but he loves me. Are you ready? <laughs> Jeremy? Wait, why are you filming this? I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty nervous right now. Really? Yeah. Are you wondering why I'm filming? <laughs> yeah, why are you filming uh, Jeremy throwing up while eating sushi? I've tried it before, but like mm -hmm. I wasn't the biggest fan of it, obviously. But you're gonna try it for me. Yeah, I'll do it for you. Oh! <laughs> okay, Jeremy, I have something to tell you. <laughs> what? I... This is all a test. 
<laughs> oh, wait, so we're not eating it? <laughs> no, you don't have to. Oh never. my God, thank the Lord. But Jeremy, the fact that you were willing to proves to me that, that you really like me, right? I do As like a you. friend. Yeah. You're like. <laughs> yeah, I, I have feelings for you. So, I'm joking, I'm joking, but yes. <laughs> I would have tried sushi for Well, you. I have something else to tell you. Oh. The whole spider thing that Brent had you do for his video was actually for this video. What? Yeah. Okay, I like Brent better. <laughs> why, why would you make him do that? That was horrible. I think I'm gonna make my own conclusion here and say that you like me more than Brent. <laughs> I'm not answering that. I'm not answering that. <laughs> so to find out who Pearson likes better, we're going to pretty much straight up ask her. We have a list of questions and we're gonna really put her on the spot. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we have two glass bowls um, filled with flour and Pearson all I'm asking you to do is tell the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth <laughs> okay I can do it first question is who uh, is the nicer sibling definitely <laughs> <laughs> oh my god it's like I did like I won that question but I didn't win <laughs> who is the better friend I'm gonna have to go with Lexi oh my god <laughs> who would you rather be stranded on an island with oh my god Lexi <laughs> what that would be so annoying See, I'm who is nicer to their parents? There you go. <laughs> you gotta really get your head in there, bro. <laughs> Who is funnier? Stop. <laughs> Who is more attractive? Who is more attractive? <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Who would you rather move in with? Oh. Um. Oh. 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 All right. So Pearson dunked my head into flour more times, which means that. She likes me better. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's okay. I don't need yeah. <laughs> Alright, now Pearson! Wow! Alright, you guys, so I am here with my mom. Hi guys. And now we're going to be doing some phone calls. So my mom is going to be calling Lexi Hensler from my phone. We're gonna see if Lexi likes me enough to cover for me. Hey girl, what's up? Hey, um, my mom has a quick question for you. Hi Lexi. Hi. I was just wondering if Lexi was with you last night because she told me that she was and she didn't get home till like 3 34 o'clock in the morning. Um, yeah, she was. Okay, honey, thank you. I appreciate you being such a good friend to her. Oh, yeah, of course. Thank you, Lexi. All right, bye. Bye. <laughs> Great, is this what happened in high school? All right, you guys, so obviously Lexi Hensler likes me enough to cover for me. Lexi, if you're watching this, Thank you. All right, so that's another point under my belt. It's time to get Brent in here. Okay, it is time for Brent to perform a phone call now. So he's going to be calling Andrew, mm -hmm. and he will be testing Andrew's loyalty by saying that he's in jail. Yes. And he's going to see if Andrew will pay his bail of $25,000. This is a prepaid call from... Brent Rivera. An inmate at the county correctional facility. All phone calls are subject to recording and monitoring. Yo, Andrew, Andrew. Yo. Hey, I, 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 I'm in jail right now. I need you to come bail me out. What? Yeah. It was like for a video, it was like something super, super stupid. I can explain later, but like, I need you to come like right now and bail me out. It's like a $25,000 bail. And I, I, I have to go, like I'm running out of time. Can, can you pay the bail? Yeah, 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 I, I can. Okay. All right, thank you. Okay, I'm um, gonna let you know when I'm there. Okay, I'm coming right now. All right, Kate. All right, bye. Okay, text him right now and tell him not to go. Okay, so Andrew is willing to pay twenty five thousand dollars for your bail. That's a that's a true friend yeah, right there. Yeah, that means that Andrew really likes friends. He All really right, likes me. we both got points here. So okay, so according to these tests, our friends really like the both of us. Yeah, I think they like me better. No, yeah. they actually liked me better. Really? I got two more points than you did. Oh, this is stupid. I quit. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. All right, you guys, so for this week's video, I have a $20,000 hotel room and a $20 hotel room. Give this video a big thumbs up right now. Also, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And without further ado, let's compare the two. Woo! Okay, so I don't think we got the nice $20,000 room. Don't judge the book by its cover. The cover is pretty obvious. <laughs> yeah, no, that's a thing positive, though. Okay, okay. all right, let's, let's open this up and we'll see. After you. Okay, thank you. <laughs> What? This, this is, is our room? room? Oh my god. Are you guys ready? I don't think you are now. I'm not. I don't even know what this looks like. <laughs> Holy crap. This, this is, is our room. room. Let's 
there's literally ants on the wall. Dude, that is disgusting. Oh, Bro. God. And we're supposed to stay here? That's gross. Dude, that's gonna be under our pillows tonight. Heck no. There's okay, so I had a feeling we were gonna get the $20 hotel room. So I brought a black light. We're gonna see what's really on these walls, in the bed, and on the curtain. You know how to work that thing? Yeah, it goes like this. Oh. Okay. See? Well, let's scan away. Jeremy, lift up the curtain. Why do I have to touch it? You touch it. You touch it. Oh gosh, it's so dirty. What is this? It's a $20 curtain. Oh my god. All right, I think we should check the walls now, okay? Yeah, definitely. Oh Ew. my god, bro. Look at all those stains on the yeah. wall. Hello! Okay, so who are you? I'm one of the Skyloft butlers here. 24 hour butler service. We do the food and beverage for the guests in our loft. Oh my Holy god. Crap. I did not know we had a butler. Uh, we're also the electrician, the plumber, the technician, the psychiatrist, the psychologist, you name it, we do everything. <laughs> wow. God. Okay. What? So, do you think you can show us around the room? Absolutely. All right. Starting off strong with the foosball table. I've walked in and I've seen guests playing for $5,000. Game. <laughs> it's also our game room here, though. You can connect your cell phone, your uh, Bluetooth up to the speakers, the sound system, and uh, play your music while you're partying. Jeez. This is like a little too nice. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like so, this is one of our slushy machines, which we've never actually done for a guest before. It's special for her birthday. Wow. You guys, our own personal slushy machine in the room. Brett, come check out this view. Look at that. It's the parking lot. It's not that bad. I like the trees and the scenery. Oh, and there's a cat over there. Look at that. It's not moving. I think it's dead. No, it's just taking a nap. If you guys want to take a look out the window at our beautiful Las Vegas Strip, this is the pimp suite. The ones that face the Strip, the other side, don't tell anybody, that faces a dirt parking lot in the airport. <laughs> so after seeing the rest of the lot, we're going to go upstairs and we're going to see the bedrooms now. There's an upstairs. How many square feet is this room? This one's about 5,000 square feet. And how much does this cost per night? It can vary depending on the day of the week, depending on the weekend, holidays. It could go for the 20 grand. And sometimes I've even seen it where you just have to be gambling two to three times that in the casino and the entire room is comped. What? You guys, this is actually crazy. So you guys want to take a look at our steam shower and sauna right here? The shower doubles as a sauna. Ooh, this is real right? Yeah. And look, there's even a bench. <laughs> <laughs> The light. It is. Oh, Nolan! I've been standing here for eight hours waiting for her. Yes, Miss Benifer Lopez. Maybe a fruit platter? I don't know. She's low maintenance, these two. <laughs> we, we get a $20,000 hotel room for one night and we turn into like snobs. Oh my god! Is that poop? Is it your poop? Dude, we just got in here. What do you mean? Bro, that is disgusting. Yeah. Here, there you go. Oh! Guys, our bathroom has robes. You know what we have to do. Ready? We could do that too. This hotel should be like $10, not $20. I don't know why it's so bad. I mean, there's not even a massage place. My neck hurts really bad. And I, oh, I got you. Oh, okay. Okay. All right, you can stop. How's it feel? No, you can stop now. Stop. You said you want a massage. You guys, we can literally get a massage in our room. God, I love this video, Lexi. <laughs> I still think my massage would have been better though, Lexi. I don't know about that, Andrew. This room really has it all. Hey, no food can go to waste. Oh my gosh, why would you eat that? So it's fine, I was like a gift or something. We don't know where that came from. It was like a gift. They left the chocolate bars on our pillows. I wonder if they have room service. Hi, uh, do you guys have room service? No, we don't, sorry. Okay, all right, thank you. Well, good thing we have some salami though. Why do you, where do you keep finding that? It was under the pillow. The room service here is supposed to be phenomenal and Andrew and I are getting pretty hungry. Starving. So we're gonna order food. Um, we'll do, um, do you guys have chocolate strawberries? Perfect, thank you. Woo! All in with the room service. My pleasure. 
sir, it's uh, Madame Rivera. Wow. You guys, I'm Madame Rivera now. Everybody can call me that. Okay, our room service has arrived. This looks really, really good. Okay, the best part about this room is that I didn't pay for it. Ren did. And he's in the $20 hotel room, so. <laughs> this is how we repay him? I guess so. Guys, right, check this out. The TV doesn't even work. It's literally not even turning on. Let's get back to that massage then. We have six TVs in our room. That seems so unnecessary. Why? Yeah, a little bit unnecessary. Well, their place doesn't have a pool, so we decided to order a pool, and we're gonna have our own pool day in our room. Oh yeah. How's that sound? It sounds good to me. Smart thinking, right? Mm -hmm. Marco! Polo. Marco! Polo. Dude, you're really good at this game. Marco! Polo! <laughs> Ouch! Where you at? Our hotel comes with a lot of amenities, like a pool, a casino, and a lot of champagne. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> All right, let's see what else they have. Brad, we don't need to be divided. We need to be one. What are you doing? Dude, we need to divide. It's fine, bro. Well, yeah, chill. All right, well, we're going to try and get some sleep. Hopefully, this goes by quicker. <laughs> Do you want to snuggle? All right, that's it. I'm done. I'm going to go to the $20,000 hotel. You can enjoy this hotel room by yourself. What's that? Oh. Can I stay with you guys? Sure. Fine. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. Yes! All right! All right, let's make room for me! Woohoo! I'll take that. Wait, what are we watching? What is going on? What do you got? Okay, oh, yeah. we're okay. done. Let me get the fuck out of here! Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Okay, you guys, so for this week's video, I am going to be staying overnight in a vending machine. Okay, I don't see this going well for you at all. You don't believe in me? No, I don't believe in you. You know what? I don't really either, so please, guys, give this video a big thumbs up. Also, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And without further ado, let's get this video started. Let's go! So this is the vending machine. Okay, so I'm gonna be inside this vending machine for a very long time. So before I get in, I'm going to test out a viral TikTok vending machine hack, and we're gonna see if it works or not. Let's say I want some Oreos. Ooh, 30, that's one dollar. One, one, two, seven, eight, four, five. Now this part's very important, guys. Okay, one, one, two, seven, eight, four, five. Okay, so say I want the Oreos. That's C, three, okay, one dollar. One, 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 two, seven, eight, Four, five. Come on, come on. There you guys have it. These TikTok vending machine hacks do not work. But luckily I get free snacks anyways because I'm gonna be inside here all night. So let's get in this thing. Okay, so I'm not going to fit into this vending machine as it is. So I'm gonna take out a few racks and then we're gonna see what we're working with. A little help? Okay, let's test it out. Oh wow, it's pretty safe. Oh. Never mind. You guys, I think if I'm gonna attempt to stay in here all night, we need to take off one more wrap. All right, I'm getting in the vending machine and I am not coming out until the morning. Mark my words. Okay, I have my pillow, my blanket. Ugh. You know what, this, is, this isn't that. Like, this is kind of comfortable. Oh, finally. What? Goodbye. Wait, wait. Have fun. All right, well I guess the challenge starts now. <laughs> All right, you guys, so I am now in the vending machine. I mean, what is there to really do in here? This is by far one of the funniest and probably gonna be one of the most difficult challenges I've ever done. Let's hope that I don't get into a fight with this vending machine or I'm gonna have to knock some sense into it. Get it? I've already been in this vending machine for too long and I just got in here. And the chips are stale. <laughs> All right, so since I am pretty bored, I did invite Pearson over and we're also gonna pull a little prank on her. A new iPhone! So I'm gonna replace one of the chips with this iPhone. Obviously, she's gonna wanna pick the iPhone, but inside of it is a note that says, gotcha, LOL. I'm very sorry about this, Pearson, but I'm stuck in a vending machine for the whole night, so someone else has to suffer too. Pearson. Hey. Over here. Vending machine? Hey, Pearson. <laughs> oh my god. Who does this? Literally, who does this? Please let me out. Is this how she uses her free time? Pearson, I'm staying overnight in a vending machine. That is the dumbest idea I've ever heard. You know what? I think it's one of my dumber ideas, too. Okay, Pearson, so obviously you see the snacks in the vending machine. I don't know if you have any cash on you, but you don't have to worry because we're giving you one free choice. So here is everything in there is $1.25. Oh, wow. Ooh. And you can't pick me. Unfortunately, oh, I'm out of here. Yeah. Take your money back. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm out of stock. Okay, wait. 
There's an iPhone in here. If yeah. I can purchase an iPhone for $1.25, it's been a good day. Hopefully it works. So, we put, oh my God, it works. Okay, B5. Hopefully it doesn't hit me in the head. <gasps> I'm in it. That's why. That's, That's why, why, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, is it funny? <laughs> I really needed a new iPhone. It says gotcha, lol. Where's the fart spray? Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so now Andrew's coming over to hang out, entertain me. I don't even know. It's just, it's pretty boring in here. And you can pick with, you know, what you have, whatever you want. <laughs> All right, so uh, I am pretty hungry about B8. B8? Could I do B8? What's B8? You're B8. Do you happen to have like a million dollars? Because that's how much B8 costs. B8 costs a million dollars? <laughs> Screw this. I learned this trick where when you go like this, you just hold it and you just keep it here and it just keeps getting the same thing over and over. Oh, yeah. There's yeah. actually a cheat code for this vending machine. Press one. Yeah. D. Yeah. One. Yeah. O. Yeah. T. <laughs> There's no T. Oh, because I'm an idiot. That's why, huh? That's why. You know what? Let me get an F U. Oh. <laughs> uh, let me do the spicy, sweet chili Doritos. That's actually like. Wow, what a compliment, Andrew. No, Lexi, you're the funniest. <laughs> but <let> me... <laughs> B. One. Yo, what the hell? It ate my dollar. It, it literally ate my dollar. Let me do a five. I'll get the corn nuts. Did I eat my money again? <gasps> okay, you guys, so I literally invited Jeremy over because desperate times call for desperate measures. I would not be hanging out with Jeremy otherwise. Hey! I can hear you. What was that for? All right, you know what? I'm just gonna take my business elsewhere then. I'm Jeremy, not... stop. Are you not surprised that I'm in a vending machine? You were just talking crap. Oh my god. So you don't want anything. Here, wait. Is it cool if I have that one? Me. Yeah, that like like the snack in the green right there. Every single person has said the same thing. I guess I'm the MVP of the vending machine today. Oh, no, Jeremy, I'm not for sale. You're literally in the vending machine. You're scamming me. I'm not scamming you. You can have anything else. Oh, anything? Yeah, anything. Can I have that thing in the green right there? Didn't we go already go over this? <laughs> Do you yeah. have a short-term memory loss? You can't have me. Wait, so I guess you don't want my money. No, I want your money, but, but buy any one of these snacks. You're in the vending machine, and I want you, so I'm going to get you. <laughs> Okay. Hey, no, it's not out of service. Okay, maybe doing an overnight video in a vending machine was a bad idea, only because I've already had like five bags of chips. I mean, what else am I supposed to do in here? All right, so it is literally 11.48. I've done just about everything there is to do in a vending machine. I've eaten chips, some of my friends came and they hung out with me, they entertained me, and there's really nothing left to do besides go to bed. Okay, so wish me luck, and hopefully the next time I see you guys, it will be the morning. Okay. So, I don't know if I'm going crazy. I mean, I could very well be going crazy. I've been in a vending machine for like hours on end. I think I heard something or someone and it's kind of making me a little bit nervous. Jeremy, what are you doing? I'm here for a late night snack, what's the problem? You're here for a late night snack. Yeah. Hey, Jeremy, I hate to break it to you. We're out of service. Jeremy, come on. It's hard enough to sleep here already. I'm already typing in the number and I'm putting in my order. No, Jeremy, I need to go back to sleep. Jeremy, the vending machine's closed. I'm trying to sleep. Are you even here? And how do you have a matching pajama set on? Because I just rolled out of bed. <laughs> I'm hungry. You give me what I want and I'll leave, okay? What do you want? I ordered, uh... Jeremy, you don't get that until the morning. Do you want any chips or anything? Yeah, right there. You don't? No, I need to sleep here. <sighs> okay, I'll be back in like an hour then. Don't come back, I need to sleep. Oh my gosh. Okay, you guys, now the next time I see you will hopefully be the morning. <laughs> Cheers.
Okay, good morning from a vending machine. I never thought I would be saying that. You guys, I'm honestly kind of surprised that I completed this overnight challenge. Now, would I do it again? No. But was this a good experience? Also, no. Get me out of this thing. <gasps> you guys! We're out, and my back is killing me. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Okay, you guys, so today we are going back to fourth grade. All right. So you guys, we are going to go to school and my mom will be our teacher. So with that said, my mom will be testing our knowledge on fourth grade. Oh wow, I've been out of fourth grade for a long time. This guy just graduated fourth grade. <laughs> no, he didn't. So without further ado, let's head to the school and get this video started. Woo! Okay, you guys, so we are on our way to the school right now, but I wanted to quickly say thanks to y'all Mail for sponsoring this video. So I wanted to quickly talk about the Yahoo Mail app and its new design. So you guys, the new design for the Yahoo Mail app is not just an organized inbox, but it amplifies what's important to you and it makes it easier to unsubscribe to what isn't as important to you. In addition to this, it helps you find what you need, when you need it, and it's just a way to really organize your personal life and adult better. So you can connect and manage all of your email accounts in the Yahoo Mail app. Therefore, there's no need to create a new Yahoo email address. And you guys, you can also use the Yahoo Mail app, organize your life, stay connected, and it organizes all your coupons and deals that you get emailed in one view. So yeah, with that being said, make sure to download the Yahoo Mail app now, and let's get back to the video. So we're standing in a straight line waiting for our teacher. Our teacher's late. Oh, here she is. Let's go on in. All right, here we go. Follow the leader. Hey, good morning, class. I'm going to be taking roll. It looks like, oh, we have one person missing today. Where's Andrew? Except for Andrew. Oh, well, Andrew's not. Oh, well, there's Andrew. Welcome, Andrew. What's up, guys? Uh, I don't know. My phone's been out. Okay, you need to put the car place under the tardy. Now we're yeah, holding up the whole class at this point, Andrew. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wait, why do you put you put my name? That's not fair. Oh, wait, wait. Okay. Nope. okay, we will be doing reading, a little bit of math, and some science today. So if everybody can get out their reading book, it looks like this. It's in your desk. When you get there, please turn to the dragon problem. Thank you. Wait, I don't have a book. Oh, I can't find it. Um, you forgot his book. The book looks like this. If your neighbor did not find their book, please help them. And remember, we can always send you back to third grade. You should be able to get your book out in your fourth grade. When you are finished reading it silently to yourself, we will be taking a quiz. The person that gets the lowest score on the quiz will have a consequence because I want to make sure you are Wait, paying attention in happening? class. Can you raise your hand if you have a question? Oh. Oh. Alright, you may begin Wait, reading. Are you, doing it? you may begin yes. reading now. Excuse me! Um, oh school gosh. is not a time to sleep. We are reading. Okay, so we are going to just have a short oral quiz. So, first question. Who can tell me the dragon's name? Lexi. Davy. Correct, Davy. Thank you. And what was Davy's problem in the story? There was a problem in the story. What was that problem? Brent. Don't you hate when teachers calling you when your hand was I'm not raised? answering that. My hand wasn't raised. Um, I'm sorry, Brent, but if you don't answer that question, you're going to have to go and see the because I'm wow. So you need to answer the question. Ah, the dragon kept on eating the, f the food of the, the Leong's village. Absolutely. Very good. And so at the end of the story, how did they solve this problem? Ben. They, um, they, uh, they flew to another city. I actually no, actually really I'm fast. sorry, they did not. Okay, Ben was sleeping city. the whole time, so how would he know? <laughs> I fell asleep. Okay, okay, you know what? You need to get a good night's sleep, you need a good breakfast. So you were wrong. So, I guess the consequence is for Ben, because he's sleeping and doesn't know what's going on in the, in the book. So, <laughs> consequence number one is, we're going to have to give your mom a call. The rest of you can continue answering the questions at the end of the chapter. No, we want to hear this. And, Oh, hi, is this Mrs. Aslart? This is. Oh, this is Ben's teacher, Mrs. Rivera, and I wanted to give you a call because it's only the first day of school, and he's already fallen asleep in class, and he's not reading the text and getting any of the answers right, so I wanted to touch base with you before it's too late. Oh, no, I'm so sorry. That will never happen again. I'll take care of it as soon as he gets home. Okay, thank you. Uh-huh, I... uh bye-bye. What? <laughs> <laughs> Get cooked! <laughs> 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 what if my mom likes going with it? Are you reading? <laughs> I'm posting a video. Okay. First of all, we don't have our phones out and we don't post at school. Go to the right place. As a matter of fact, I'm taking it. Oh, your, your, parent, taking my phone. your parent can come and get it after You school. are my parent! Are parent. <laughs> that was gross. Who was that? Who was that? 
starts during <laughs> silent reading. Yes. Okay, so reading was not the biggest success, but we're gonna start math and see how many of you remember your math facts. Number one, and this one is for Brent. Brent, four times twenty five. Let's see. Um let's see. We're gonna try a harder one for you. Eight times seven. Whoa. 42? 63. Ooh, 56. Not 42. <laughs> okay, uh, Lexi, I'm sorry you were wrong. There is a consequence for not studying the fact. You need to come and stand on your head in the trash can. What? Stand on your head in the trash can. You have five minutes in timeout. Is that legal? No, she's got to stand on her head in the trash can. My head can't even stand in the trash can. Too bad. You have a big head. What? That's gross. Trash cans dirty. Your mom's dirty. Okay, well, you know what? Maybe you'll go study over the summer from now on, okay? Oh my god. And if you don't want to be next, you gotta make sure you're quiet. Until um we're finished with math. Until the day ends. What? Okay, next we're gonna be doing social studies. Please get your book out. It's a blue book in your desk. What's social studies? Boys. What excuse me, is there something that you need to tell the class? Andrew, please stand up and tell us what is so funny. Why did the chicken cross the playground? Why? To get to the other slide. Ah! <laughs> that was funny. Yeah. Okay, sit down, That's please. Funny. Let's open our social studies book to chapter one and different and special in its own way. So, as we read today, I want you to be thinking about the similarities and differences between each of those regions. Yeah! yeah. yeah. You're talking. Are we talking. I am sitting here talking and you are interrupting me. Okay, so this is our final quiz of the day. It's been a long day, especially for me. Um, I oh my, oh my gosh, Ben, you don't lean back on our chair for that very reason. Oh my gosh. Okay, so it's time to take our quiz. First question, who can tell me what our state capital is in California? Lexi. Sacramento. Thank you, Sacramento. Who can tell me which region we live in? Ben. Oh. Coastal. Coastal region, very good. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I think we have one last question. If you were to go snowboarding, which region would you visit? The snow region. <laughs> the um, mountain region. Oh. Okay, the mountain region is correct, not the snow region. I'm sorry, but I unfortunately, because you got it wrong, you are the one that's going to have to do consequence. Our next consequence. But you're going to do a plank for one minute in the corner of the room. <laughs> Not a, not a squat. Not a squat. Why? Why? doesn't work yeah. out. Give him a break. Yeah, there you go. Okay, ready? Begin. One, one, one two, two. Come on, Sasha, guys. Stack those joints. Okay, 60, you're done. Let me get up. Okay, boys and girls, we are going to clean up for the day. So, what about, um, when, yes, Ben. What about the homework that was due today? <laughs> Did you really just go there? What? What is wrong with you? Please take a chair away. Whoa, so you're one of those kids. I will destroy you. I'm Bro. gonna turn in the homework. No, I won't. Okay, stand by your desk once you're cleaned up so I can get ready to dismiss you, please. Oh, there it is. Oh, put the chairs in place. Hey, hey, Bell does not dismiss you. I do. Come and stand by your chairs, please. Oh. No, wait, he's leaving. He's leaving. Hey. YouTube channel. Okay, you guys, so today I am doing a video that Brent has been begging me to do. Yes. <laughs> so basically, I am going to let Brent pick my new man. So as you guys know, Brent is not the most supportive of me and Ben. And with that being said, he really wants to see what other options there are for me. So oh. apparently, Brent has six guys here, and they're going to come out, sit in these chairs right here. These guys are the best of the best. I hand selected. The most intelligent. The best looking. And the most... Um, um, uh, uh, I don't even know. Wait, All right, well, let's nice? hope that's true. Hopefully Brent. it finds me a, a great new man today. A brand new bae. So let's bring out the boys. All right, so first <laughs> we have Mason, because um, I couldn't find anyone else. Okay, we have Derek. Derek. <laughs> All right, next up we have, we have Josh. <laughs> yes. We have Josh, this is Josh. Next up is Andrew. Andrew. You know I couldn't do a dating <laughs> show without Andrew. Right. All right. Next up we have uh, AJ. AJ. Right. <laughs> Last but not least we have. I want everyone to give a big boo for this one. What? We have Ben. Ben. <laughs> Wait, why is Ben? 
playing when you said that you were trying to get me a new bed? Well, that's why he's playing because I want to show you that all of these guys are going to be better than you than Ben. Okay, so basically, Brent is going to be asking each of these fine men yes. five questions, yes. okay? And after each question, he's going to be giving two points to the two people that answer the question the best. Then, so ask away, Brent. Okay, all right, so what is your idea of a romantic evening? I think the best romantic evening would probably have to be probably a nice picnic, you know? <laughs> With some water. All right. Okay, so by the way, guys, I have no say in this. Brent is giving the points to each guy. I'm the one so. deciding. So I'd probably send, like, Chuck E. Cheese. Just leave now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay, all right, Josh. We would uh, have to start with a nice little PCH drive, you know, it's just like oh, a vibe. Nice. And then it ends up at the beach for a nice little picnic. Okay. Okay. So. All right, we'll go for Andrew. The good day would probably be like, you know, playing some board games like Monopoly or something. All so right. You'll get to know each other pretty well. Uh, you know, I'm pretty simple. I like going to the movies, seeing a movie. AJ has a girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> so, here we go. Um, you know, I'm thinking like just Netflix and Jill. Yeah, and that's why you're not being picked. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna have to give the points to Derek and Josh. Let's go! All right, next question. What is your best pickup line? And be careful, because obviously I'm the one making the decision, you know, so don't be too weird with it. All right, Derek. So, Lexi, I know you don't like plums, but how about a date? <laughs> 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 if you were a booger, I'd pick you first. <laughs> oh, if you were a potato, you'd be a sweet one. Oh! oh. Alright, Andrew. Alright, Lexi. My love for you is like diarrhea. I just can't hold it in. Like, it hurts. <laughs> Ew! Ew! I'm gonna throw up. Hey, Lexi. Um, my name's Microsoft. Can I crash at your place tonight? <laughs> I'm telling your girlfriend. <laughs> um, so, oh, how sweet. Lexi, um, you know, you've had the, the three month trial. Um, would you like to renew your subscription? Uh, okay, so I think I'm gonna have to uh, give that those two points to, um, I like AJ's a lot, the Microsoft one. We'll give Derek another point. Oh. Oh. Next question is, what do you look for in a girl? All right, so the first thing I do look for in a girl is a girl who can maybe get rid of spiders in the house because that is, um, I, I don't like spiders very much. <laughs> All right, next up is Mason. Uh, I don't know, honesty. Honesty, okay. Yeah. Okay. She'd have to be loyal, but independent as well. Never negative, always positive, and just outgoing. <laughs> uh, I like girls that like set goals for themselves and really go for it, what they want. All right, Ben, you're um, up. I like a, a girl's sense of humor. A girl can have a good laugh. I don't know. A joke. Okay. okay. All right. Good. I'm gonna give one point to Josh, and then I'm gonna give, uh, I guess, the other point to Ben. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. All right. So, next question is: Are you a cat or a dog person? And then I'm more of a cat person. So. <laughs> um, I think I'm more of like a like a dog guy. <laughs> Well, I'm allergic to cats, so I'm gonna be a dog person for sure. Uh, Andrew? Boring. Um, <laughs> probably a dog person, just cause you know, cats. I don't really like cats. And kind of dog, probably, I like huskies, you know, cause they have colored eyes. Uh, okay, okay. okay. Alright, uh, I'm uh, definitely a dog person. Um, I'm a dog person. Oh, no you're not. Yeah, Don't, I am. don't lie to them. You said dogs are cats. You didn't say animals or no animals. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a dog person, and if I had to get a dog, it'd be a, uh, Golden Retriever. Stop oh. kissing my butt. Uh, that's, that's, that's kissing our butt right there. All right, so I'm gonna have to pick uh, Andrew and Ben. Yay! Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right, so the next question is, what are your intentions with my sister? Uh, I think my intentions are to just treat her very nice and um, like a queen. <laughs> Okay, um, I guess my intentions would be to, you know, be kind and always loving. Mm -hmm. Josh, you're up next. <laughs> uh, my intentions would be to treat her right, of course, and of course. just show her some fun. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Andrew, you're up. My intentions, you know, just same thing, treat her right, you know, and get closer to her so I could get closer to Brent. <laughs> you know, uh, of course treat her right, but we're all trying to find our soulmates, and I just want to find the right one, you know? So well, I thought you were with your soulmate. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna keep bringing that up. <laughs> you know, honestly, I'm just trying to put a ring on it. Oh, oh interesting. Wow. Interesting. Yeah, I'm just kidding. <laughs>
Uh, personally, I like Andrew's answer, Ooh. so if you would get a point, okay. Okay. and then I liked Derek's answer, so he gets another point. Derek gets another point, Hey. Okay, so that was it for this first round. Um, Basically, the two people that ended up with the lowest mm. amount of points were Mason and AJ. Oh, oh bye guys. Everybody, everybody say their goodbyes. All right, you guys, so next up is the dancing round. So basically, you guys are each going to have 10 seconds, um, you know, go in like the little circle, whatever, and show me what you got. All right, you guys ready for the dance off? Let's go! Show me what you got. <laughs> yeah! Time's up, time's up. That was pretty good. Okay, next up is Andrew. Go! <laughs> Going home from okay, this round. Okay, so this time I want to make it a little bit interesting. Everybody kind of bend down a little bit. What? Beep, beep, beep. What? Beep, 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 beep. All right, here are our final three, and it is time for round three. <laughs> I still can't believe Ben is here at this point. I don't know why I'm still here. Okay, so basically, you guys are going to be telling your best jokes. Not only do you have to make me laugh, but you have to make Brent laughs, so it has to be pretty darn funny. Okay, do you guys have your jokes ready? Yes, yes we do. All right, I guess it's time to start round three. Brent. Yes. What's that? Okay. <laughs> did, did Macy come back for me? Macy got he got me, me flowers. So first up is Derek. He's going to tell me a joke and see if Brent and I laugh. What did the TikToker say to the bully? What? Whoa there. Okay. Okay, so next up to try to make Brett and I laugh is Ben. So, so you're gonna she's already that. laughing. Really? Yeah. This is good. This is good. She's already laughing. You're gonna need to say, um, what can I get for you today? <laughs> what can I get for you today? <laughs> can I uh, can I get a shot of sauce? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's gonna happen. She's laughing. I'm next good. up. Alright, this is also an inside joke. Oh no, okay. This is like the top of the, the, the car seat. <laughs> Stop! Stop! Oh my god! Alright, all right, so, based off of the jokes or whatever, I think that since Ben and Andrew kind of took it a step farther, so I might have to delete Derek from this competition. Oh, it's okay. Alright, so we are down to the final two. This is the last round. Yeah, so basically you guys are going to be writing either a poem or a song about Lexi. You have, uh, oh, like a few minutes. Alright, good all luck, right. guys. Okay, so Ben and Andrew have their poems or songs ready, and again, I don't have a say. Let's hear it. Lexi, oh Lexi, you look mighty sexy. <laughs> What? <laughs> I'm not done. Keep me on my toes while your brother keeps saying no. <laughs> In my heart, there is no more room, but Brent still finds the broom. Oh, oh my god! Maybe good. one day you will say yay, but for now, my love will stay. Oh my gosh! Wow. That was beautiful. Oh I want to hear Andrew's poem. Alright, next is uh, Andrew. Mine's like really short, you know, but it means a lot, you know? So. Aww. I cheered, I rooted, but Lexi, you still love me so wounded. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you who haven't checked out Andrew's new song yet, it's called <laughs> 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 It's called Wounded. Um, okay, those are both pretty good. Wow. Um, okay, so based off of the uh, the poems, oh, I hate to say this. Uh oh. Uh oh. I guess Ben's poem was better. Oh, I hate it. Wait, what was the point of this video? I don't know. What the heck was this? This is stupid. Like literally. <laughs> I'm not saying though no, that Ben is like a good, like a perfect map. Yeah, you are. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to be seeing who knows our mom better. So me versus Brent. This should be interesting. I'm feeling not too confident. I mean, I know this woman, but do I really? <laughs> How do you feel, Brent? Are you confident? Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna win. Okay, so let's come up with the loser winner type of situation. So I say that the loser has to do whatever I say for an entire day. All of those lovely things you guys never do for your mother. Okay. Sure. Okay. I'm down for that. Here we go. Because Lexi's going to lose. Okay. okay, first question. You ready? Yes. This is an easy one, and both of you should get this. Yeah. What is my middle name? Ooh, can we? <laughs> <laughs> what 
is my mom's middle name? That is unfair. I don't know your mom's middle name. Wait, neither do I though. What? I can't think of it. Okay, so I actually know. I know what it is now. Do you really? I, maybe I didn't a few weeks ago, but I, I know now. What it is. Thank you, Ava. One, two, three. Marie, Marie, good job, guys. Oh, I feel so loved. Live and learn. Okay, so the score is one to one. Okay, question number two. Where was I born? Okay, one, two, three. Pennsylvania and Pennsylvania. Well, I guess I have to give it to you. I was born oh. in Philadelphia. Oh. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Okay, let's go to number three. So, this oh, one's, you're cool. This one's, <laughs> this one's really easy. You weren't easy. born here. I was born in Philadelphia. Okay, this is an easy question. When is my birthday? I'm guys. confident. <laughs> Um, I'm glad one person's gone. Seriously? Oh my gosh, are you kidding? You guys both have it wrong. November 26th. No! <laughs> you guys have the month right, but really you don't know your mom's birthday? Aww. What, the 23rd? No, it's the 17th. What? Oh, so I was close. Oh, okay, so, so no. I get the point. <laughs> oh my yeah, gosh. Yeah, yeah. Okay, nobody gets that point, seriously. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Okay, so I'm gonna ask you again. When was I born? November... 16th. Stop. <laughs> okay, this is my favorite question. Who is my favorite child? This is so easy. Oh, I have four. Friend, Which don't is you my dare favorite? try to write down your name because you know who it is. Okay, one, two, three. All of us. Oh. <laughs> Stephen has a heart above her eye. It's neither of you two. She's so lying. It is. She's lying to you? <laughs> She's lying to you guys? No, I do love all of you the same, so I guess Brent gets that point. That's right. Okay, so the score is three to two. Okay, next question. Ready? Yeah. Where's my favorite place to shop? One, two, three. Okay, seriously? Bed Bath I don't even, I don't even <laughs> think I've ever been to Bed Bath & Beyond. I mean, maybe, but it's definitely not my favorite <clears> store. <throat> Nordstrom. So Lexi gets that point. What? I do love Nordstrom. You can get everything there. Okay, so now now the score is tied up. Next question. How about who is my celebrity crush? <laughs> celebrity <laughs> what? Crush. I can have a celebrity crush. Three, two, one. David Beckham and Elton John. <laughs> what? Okay, so David Beckham actually is my celebrity crush. Honey, how old do you think I am? <laughs> so the score now is four to three. Okay. So next question. What was my dream job when I was younger? Okay, one, two, three. An astronaut <laughs> and a lawyer. Okay, first of all, I can, can barely fly on planes. Brent, so it's mm -hmm. definitely not an astronaut. I panic as what? it is. What? And a lawyer? I actually thought about being a lawyer. It wasn't my, my dream job definitely is being a mother mm -hmm. and a teacher. <laughs> <laughs> so on. Okay, next question. Neither of you got it. So the score is still four to three. Okay, so next question, and I hope you guys know this because some things really bug me, and I want to know if you know my pet peeve. Three, two, one. Leaving dishes in the sink <laughs> and <laughs> dad overeating. <laughs> oh my gosh, I do have a lot of pet peeves. Both of those are definitely my pet peeves. But <laughs> The, the one thing I was thinking about is just people not cleaning up after themselves. So I think that yours is closer, but it's cleaning up in general. Like I cannot stand when people leave a mess. Okay, so now we are tied four to four. And this is really easy, favorite food. Favorite and you should food? both totally get this. Sushi, sushi. You know what, I'm gonna have to go with sushi. Still tied, oh my goodness. Last question, okay, determine who um, will win. Is this the last one? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Where do you think my favorite place to go is? If I had to choose somewhere I've already been, what has been my favorite vacation? Uno, dos, tres. Italy, Hawaii. Oh, Brian, you're so wrong. No. All she does is talk about Italy. You know what? Okay, I went back and forth to be honest, and I loved, loved Italy. But I'm what? Gonna, uh, uh but no, I'm no, gonna, no, you better not do this. I right have now. to say no. Hawaii. Uh, I'm sorry, you're lying. You know why I have Lexi, to say Hawaii? Because I go it. with my family. Just you cause, just because Dad over no, Is that why? Loser. Oh my gosh! So Loser. honey, you have to do everything I want for a day. I'm so excited. You lost. And the good news is, I love you all the same. And I won. I think my job here is done.